What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Off The Many with me, your girl. Today, I'm not even sure if I'm going from Las Giddy to London or London to Las Giddy, but I got my homie, my friend, he rolls with the big boys. It's my guy, TZ. How are you? London to Las Giddy, I'm good. Man. London to Las Giddy, mm -hmm. obviously, you know, you look good. Thank you, now. normal level shot. This guy is just not a <laughs> humble guy. That's the problem in life. Like, I don't get it. But it's okay. You, you, uh, you've earned it. Thank you, ma'am. Today we're making chicken and waffles. My favorite. I know you can't cook for nothing, but I'm gonna put you through it. I go learn today, though. You gonna learn? You gonna learn a day. My wife not hear you. I've been lying that I can't cook. Yeah, but she knows you can't cook. Well, yeah, she, she, yeah, she don't know already. Well. She can't cook. So. <laughs> it's okay. Let's but see. I'm gonna help you today. Okay. okay? So let's talk about DRV Las Giddy. Yeah, yeah. I remember when you guys, like probably like 10 years ago, remember when we used to do shows in Nottingham? Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. so they used to do their music thing. Mm. Me and my dance crew used to do our dance thing and we used to meet at every like show. We used to bump into each other at every show. And you guys, I feel like you guys started that hotel wave, that sound, that really cool kid like coolest kid in lakers type vibes man yes 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 those are the good old days now honestly you know, we thank god for growth yeah for life and um you know it was interesting to be able to you know at the time people didn't really understand what we we're doing so nope. you know so fast forward nine ten years later and it's yeah. like at the forefront of culture so it's you know it's, it's just I mean, a blessing it really is a blessing. a blessing how how does it feel to you know wake up and not tell everybody that you're the shit <laughs> 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 I mean, like it must be really hard for you to just like walk around and be like, yeah, no, I did this. No, no, like, no, because it was a hard journey. Like as you know, too, like nothing yeah. was, you know, there's no journey that was straightforward. It wasn't. We didn't know from the jump. At the end of the day, we started with our boys. Like I mean, David o started with us. Bonner started with us, and we see where those guys are today. So yeah. you know that everyone's journey is not the same. same. Mm -hmm. It's something that we had to learn along the way. But I mean, I feel like the consistency and just staying together, like Budger and Fresh are still, those are still my best friends. We still make I love together. that, yeah. When I'm working on my solo album, those are the boys I'm in studio with, vice versa with Budge, whether it's Fresh, we do each other's creative direction. Yeah. So we're still in tight. And we obviously dropped our Pioneers DRB album last year yes. as well. So it's still, it's still a movement, but we're still doing our solo things at the same time. I love yeah. it, man. I love it. Okay, so let's get into this cooking. Because I know you feel like you're just going to come here and just watch me cook. No, no, no. It's not going to happen. Oh, Should the rings. rings okay. Is how this is how I know how you're you serious. Start? Yes, take it off. Oh, you understand you're about right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, yeah. All right, so let me just walk you through what we have. So for the chicken, we've got yeah. some smoked paprika, some onion powder, garlic powder, mm -hmm. black pepper, salt, and and some herb de Provence, honey. Oh, wow. For the waffles, we've got some flour, some sugar, milk, butter, baking soda, baking powder, and we're making our own waffles. It's not out of a box or anything. Or so I'm really gonna teach you. Let's go. Should we mind passing yes, the chicken, yes, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So we're gonna cut up this chicken, but we're gonna talk while we're cutting up. Because you know, that's my work. multitasking. That's your work for today. Fantastic. Um, so tell me about the Altair style because I feel like mm -hmm. anything that isn't brandable or that isn't like put in a box or you can't explain it, I feel like in Nigeria everybody just automatically calls it Altair. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, you've been doing this from years, from when I've known you, you've mm -hmm. always looked different. You were never really the Gucci Gucci Prada Prada type of guy. For sure, for sure. <laughs> so like who is like who are some of your fashion icons? Yeah in terms of the fashion icons I think I definitely look up to like guys like Andre 3000, Love um, Kid Cudi, Pharrell, David Beckham. You know, David Beckham? Like, yeah for sure because what? All those guys, uh, they were in a space in whatever they were, whether it was hip hop or sports, where they were always going against the norm. You know? mm. Andre was wearing dresses and wigs in the nineties. When people are doing it now, they're like, "Ah, oh, it's crazy." But that guy was doing that. That was, yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So 
Kid Cudi as well, and even down to David Beckham was had braids, or Ibo boy with braids that year, so always doing something different from what everyone else is doing, which is not intentional. That's just your that's just your vibe. Mm -hmm. So um, I think those are the guys I, I associated with a lot, and the same with the Alter guys. I think that was me and Budgie's main thing. Like yeah. we met, and I was like, oh, this guy, you're just he's fresh, you're just fresh in a weird way. Like why are you wearing that shiki with bowler caps, all this type of stuff. So you know, we associated a lot on. A style and that kind of community from them show them camp to Santi mm. to um, or don't see the engine mm. now so much so to even girls like Thames and Amare who are yeah. also doing their own thing in their own specific way but it's now having a bigger effect on absolutely on the whole community so it's just been amazing and now the thing about Alter the lines are blurred because the Gen Z's are free to be who they want to be so them they say they're not Alter because there's no there's nothing like Alter that's just normal for them mm -hmm. now you know what I mean. But when us were coming up, it was definitely different. But now, yeah. even the, if Rema was around 10 years ago, you say Rema is okay, but now that's definitely. just normal That's just swag. normal vibe, I believe. Just normal swag, it's which true. is amazing to see, you know. Okay, so in here, I have blended, do you like spice? I love spice. Okay, so blended rojo and onions and just some water. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to, first let me pop all the chicken in there. I didn't want you to touch the chicken because I didn't want you to freak out. I'm being nice to you and I don't know why. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. So just pop that in there. From uh, this side, I mean. Yeah, any side, too. Okay. Just. Wow. There you go. So this is going to marinate our chicken. Wonderful. It's going to enter the chicken well. Hmm. All right. So then we're going to go in with some of our spices. We've got smoked paprika here. Hmm. Garlic powder. Yeah, can I do it? Okay, so, sorry, 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 Thank sorry, you. sorry, 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 sorry. So people can think that I'm learning. This is uh, black pepper. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. And you said this is paprika. No, that was garlic powder. Garlic powder, wonderful. This is paprika. Okay. Onion powder. Onion powder. Then what Herb is... de Provence. Hmm. So it's just like different herbs mixed up in one. Do you hear? <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Herb de Provence? Where they learn work on. Okay. There you go. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Perfect. Now, maybe like two or three cubes of seasoning cubes. There you go. Okay, so All right, three. perfect. So I should just, just touch like I'm giving you massage or something. Hair. I know Enough. you've done this before. Well, I have not. Okay. Let me know if I'm doing rubbish. Or... No, no, you're doing well. You're doing wow. good. Wow. Yeah. All right, awesome. There you Enough. go. So we're just going to leave this to marinate for like 10 to 15 minutes. You can wash your hands. Did you just lick it? I just want to see what it tastes like. Salmonella, please. <laughs> uh -huh. So we're just going to pop this in a fridge and we're going to marinate it for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then while that's marinating, we're going to work on our waffle. So now we're going to make our waffle. Just going to add some flour. Okay. About two cups of flour is good. Okay. A little bit of sugar. Whenever there's sugar, there always has to be salt because okay. salt balances sugar. So we're just going to put a salt pinch. That's right. Do you want to crack the egg for me? Hmm. Just two eggs. Hmm. I'm going to Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. It's easy. <laughs> One more. Oh, God. Beautiful. Thank you. He can crack an egg. He can crack an egg. <laughs> Some melted butter in there. That's going to make it nice and fluffy and luscious. Mm -hmm. We've got some baking soda and then some baking powder <laughs> in there. And then what else? Milk. Okay. What if somebody's lactose? Then you use like an alternative. So like oat milk or almond milk, coconut milk, you know. There you go. So now I just need to mix this all up for me. Let me get rid of the eggs. You know, we're using a fork because not everybody has a whisk. So we're showing you that it's easy because I know damn right you don't have a whisk at home. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if you know what a whisk is. I definitely know what a whisk is. Oh, sorry, my bad. And there you go. That is our batter mm -hmm. done. Now I'm going to get the chicken from the fridge and then we're going to do the Smash Okay. Okay, so I've got some flour in here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna go with some corn flour. Corn flour is lighter, so it's gonna make our chicken crispy. Mm -hmm. So we love that. We love a crispy chicken, we do. 
So this corn flour is. This is corn flour and this is regular flour. Can you see the difference? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the spice that we use for the chicken, we're just gonna replicate it and use it for the okay. coating as well. Mm -hmm. So the smoked paprika, the black pepper, salt, you know, the garlic, the herb de Provence, and then the onion. <laughs> A little bit of seasoning cube goes in there. Do you want to mix that up for me? Let's okay. use a fork. There you go. Mm -hmm. You heard that right. Okay, so we're gonna pop our chicken in here. We're just going to coat it lightly mm -hmm. and then just shake off some of that excess flour mm -hmm. and then just pop it on there. Yeah? Yeah. Good way he's touching it. There you go. Let's just Cover it all up. There you go. All right, let me do it. Let me do it because you seem you seem scared. So our chicken is done. Now we're just going to fry it. Should we wash our hands now? Because yes. you look mad uncomfortable. So we're just gonna pop this in the fryer. Yeah. We're gonna fry it for about three minutes. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to leave that. Okay. While that's doing its thing, we're going to make our waffles. Now I've just greased this up with some melted butter. Mm -hmm. So you can just scoop some in there. Just add a little bit more in the middle. In the middle. Yeah. And it spreads itself. And then it spreads itself. Okay. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. And then we're just going to Close this up and then we're gonna turn it so that it can go on the bottom as well so it's like an even mm -hmm. coated situation. Good Our chicken is looking good. Look how golden that wow. looks. Look at that, look at that. Wow. So basically we're we're frying it on a low heat so that it cooks inside. Okay. And then we're gonna turn up the heat so that it's nice and crunchy and crispy on the outside. Mm -hmm. working on next like what are you what new projects have you got mm -hmm. that you know we've got to look forward to yeah. okay let's eat let's eat while we're talking because okay. my pet peeve is when i cook and then the food gets cold it really upsets me Mad. yeah should i help you with that thank you um, chicken yes i have the drumstick I'm oh is that your favorite uh, yeah i love the drumstick drumstick Fire. okay am i take why do you put it down let me take two now oh so <laughs> sorry <laughs> ah. thanks there you go. So I know we usually meant to make um, oh, yeah, like use good. like syrup, mm -hmm. but I like I made you a little spice oh, nice. honey. Thank you. You know, it's because you know we ain't basic mm -hmm. out here. I'm just what do I want to? Can I have some on it and on the chicken? Yeah. Uh, you already know now. So I don't even have to tell her anything. She already knows what I like. There you go. And yeah, just tuck in. How about you? I'll, I'll okay, 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 okay. I'll, I'll try I'll and do, be a I'll gentleman do, and chill. I'll do my one right here. I'm not gonna eat a lot because you know. Diet. <laughs> Carbs. Carbs. Um, let me just take this one. Yeah. So tell me what you got. Yeah. Uh, so I'm working on my new project right now. It's coming out in February. Um, it's, a, it's an EP. It's called Arrested by Love. And um, it's a. Uh, I was, it's definitely based off like, you know, the growths and the trials and tribulations of a young African man, you know, mm. trying to just figure out shit around. Ugh. It's okay. Figure out things across the world and um, was really inspired by old Nollywood films, specifically one that I saw with Jim Ike. Yeah. During the beginning, early lockdown. And I was just like, man, this title, when I was making the project, the title kept on coming back in my head. I was like, you know, this thing is very befitting. I just became a new dad. Obviously, I'm in a relationship. Yeah. You're in a relationship with your parents, your friends. And the lockdown dynamic really made you value your relationships a bit more. Yeah. It really, really made you value your relationships <laughs> a bit more. And um, yeah, man. So love was actually the key thing that came out of that. You know, just 
being around people you love, yeah. reaching out to the ones that you love, and actually missing people small. You know, the first time in ever. The lockdown did that to a lot of people. Like, damn, mm -hmm. I actually like this person. Where is this person? Where is this Where person? Are you mm. How are you? You know, so lockdown really made me. I love feel that. Arrested by love. Thank you for coming. Your mouth is full. I'm enjoying the food. I'm, not tired I'm so time. glad you came on the show, and I haven't seen you in a while. And this was this was a good little reunion, mm -hmm. you know. But no, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Off the Menu on Accelerate TV. Please give us a little thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. Send it to your aunt. Send it to your uncle, your granddad, your sisters, uncles. Baba. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I will see you again very soon. Mwah. Bye guys. So say bye. Yo, what's up my people? It's your boy TZ. You're now watching Off the Menu with Solia on Accelerate TV.